Today we're going to be talking about air DNA and why you should be using air DNA to define your investment when you're deciding to get in the Airbnb business. So air DNA, air DNA is the backbone, the data behind Airbnb. This is where you go in order to start your search for a property. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to be trying to look at a bird's eye view of what's happening in your city or the area you decide to get into. So let's get started. Okay, so when you're trying to find an investment property, especially in a short term rental, what we're going to start is with the revenue, how much money is out there to be made. So let's go to airdna.co.co, not .com. We're going to go over to research. We're going to go over to revenue. This is the first step. We're going to, we're going to, then we're going to narrow it down. Okay. So we're going to go down here. We're going to go exactly right here. Average revenue by bedroom. Okay. So now, okay. Keep in mind, this is in the city that I selected Houston, for instance, you have to do. So in Houston, what it's saying here is it's going by bedrooms, one bedroom, two bedrooms, three, four, five bedrooms. So uh, instantly I noticed right here, there's some actually a double in income for five bedroom homes. Uh, you look at that instance from four bedroom has 4,700 a month and five bedrooms have $8,700 a month in revenue. So that's a huge difference. So I'm going to instantly work myself down and start with the bedrooms and see what's going on. So let's get started with five bedrooms home. So we're going to go over to, let's go to overview, we'll go back to overview. I want you to scroll down here to the right. I want you to take these shared properties off right here in shared rooms. You see those two little toggles? Only thing we're going to be looking at is in the entire property. Now, it can be a house or a condo or a townhouse. It doesn't matter. That's the way Airbnb and VRBO works. Okay, so we go here. We're going to select unselect four. We're going to unselect three. We're going to unselect two. We're going to unselect one. We're going to unselect three. So all that leaves us with five bedrooms. Okay, so now what we're going to be looking for is... But we're going to be looking at the occupancy level. So occupancy level, the occupancy means how, what's the percentage per month that property is occupied. So we don't want a property that has low occupancy, we want a high occupancy rate. So general rule of thumb, you want to be over 60% minimum. Let's try to go with, you know, 70, but if minimum 60%. So let's look at the map and let's see what we got. Now, if you're familiar, you started off with an area that's familiar to you, not an area that you're not familiar with. You need to do some research, okay? And keep in mind, the first step is to define regulations, understand the laws, make sure you can do Airbnb there, before you get to this step. So let's get going. First step, we look at this map. I'm looking at Houston. I see it, you know, it's spread out. Um, I know this area right here, occupancy low is 31%. That's telling you it's only occupied about 10 days out of the month. Not good. Now let's go here, 19%, not good. Uh, 52%, you know, we're getting up there. This is getting a little bit better. I like it. Okay, we're getting there somewhere. It's, oh, 69%. And remember, the, the minimum we really want is about 60%. Good average daily rate of $300 a night. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. So let's see what we got. And I actually know this area. So as you can see, it pulls up another little pop-up window. Let's go up here. Let's open that up. And oh, this one says 100% occupancy. Oh, interesting. But now we're going to see... Second level, we can't always uh, believe everything. We got to see what's happening. Got to be use your common sense. If it has 100% occupancy, then we should have a lot of reviews on this property. You know, because the system's not 100% right. You got to kind of use your, you got to kind of connect the dots. So let's see what we got here. Um, seven bedrooms. Wow. It's a big house. Three full baths. Very good. Three hundred and fifty nine dollars um, a night. Uh, let's take a look now. This is on VRBO, so I don't see the reviews. Let me take a look. I don't see. Sometimes they hide them. Let me see. Reviews. Let's take a look. Here it is at the bottom. And see, this is exactly what I'm talking about. How can this place have 100 percent occupancy with zero reviews? So that's you have to check. OK, so let's find a place here. 
Let's go. Let's do it more. This is what this uh, this is what air DNA is for research analysis, you know, and then you have to use your own common sense to connect the dots. Let's keep on looking down here and see what's going on. OK, 73 percent occupancy. OK, that's not bad. Let's take a look. Oh, that's actually very good here. Ooh, 36 reviews. Look at that. 36 reviews, almost five star. This is actually a really good one. <laughs> actually, this is actually a great example because I know this area. Uh, it's affordable. Houses over there are about four or five hundred thousand dollars. That means the the mortgage is going to be about three thousand dollars. That means we can possibly rent it out long term, twenty five hundred dollars. So, it, can you imagine twenty five hundred dollars a month? This is two hundred thirty six dollars a night. This guy has an occupancy of. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's pull it back up. Where is he at? Where is that occupancy at? Um, oh, I think it was six seventy three percent or something. Seventy. Where was it? I need to go back. Uh, Fifty six. Oh, it was over here, wasn't it? That's sixty nine. It was still good right there. That was that big one though. Hundred percent occupancy. Yeah, right. Oh, seventy three percent occupancy. So what that's telling us is that this property usually is booked. And then we and then we verified it because we have 36 reviews on this property. And then on top of that, we're familiar with this area. And if you're not familiar with the area, you need to be contacting that local realtor in that area. Ask him for a CMA. Just tell him, hey, I'm thinking about buying a property. I'm an investment. I'm an investor or I'm thinking about doing some Airbnbs. You know, can you give me a CMA for the property and I'll use you for my go to realtor when I need something. If I want to put a contract in, you know, you just have to finesse. You know, you don't you're, you know, you want to give business to them for not wasting them time. And maybe you will do work with them. Who knows? But anyways, so this is how we use Air DNA. This is a perfect example of doing research and then going a little bit further to see what type of revenues you're going to be generating gives you actual evidence with the reviews right here. So it's a perfect example of how you use Air DNA. Continue on the next video. We're going to be showing and going deeper into the research using Air DNA and VRBO. See you on the next one. Hey guys, I hope you really liked the video on learning about Airbnb. The Airbnb business is super lucrative. If you want to learn more, check us out online at onlineairbnb.com. That's onlineairbnb.com, where I blog every single day about money making in the Airbnb business. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.